drenching ourselves in the endlessness of the universe, we humans have continually scrutinized the threat of whether or not we definitely are the primary species to have a planet, searching on the stars, mulling over far-off worlds, and investigating the capacity for life beyond our little blue planet. That capacity has, at long last, emerged. NASA's leader has definitely stated that the James World Space Telescope has caught something remarkable at the edge of our huge neighborhood. The James Telescope has no gouge on Proxima b, the nearest, most likely tenable exoplanet to Earth. We reviewed that a potential town made by astute lifeforms was identified, which, to date, we do not have the foggiest idea about. The new James Webb disclosure shows how the beauty of the fake lights of the metropolis of Proxima b has improved in expansion. The synthetic synthesis of the surroundings of this exoplanet has been determined. So, together with us to this high-quality tour to Proxima b to find the subtleties of this disclosure, as indicated by NASA's chief. The Jeb telescope may also have utilized this innovation just and has outstanding life on Proxima b and exoplanet observed truly. For 0.24 light a very long time from our sunlight-based planet, Popular B has turned into a peculiarity of acclaim because of its functionality to be livable. This exoplanet circles its pairing megastar Proxima Center, a purple bantam that could be a lot more modest and cooler than our sun. Found in 2016, Proxima B lies inside the star's livable quarter, otherwise called the Gilk Sector, which is the district across the celebrity wherein situations ought to permit the presence of fluid water a full-size detail for life as far as we might be concerned. Proxima's monster place to Earth and its area in the tenable region have produced significant interest and principle about its potential to assist existence. Anyway, it means quite a bit to keep in mind that the livability of an exoplanet is a mind-boggling puzzle inclusive of diverse elements. Proxima b is characterized as an exoplanet with a mass around 1.3 instances that of the Earth and has an orbital time of around 11.2 Earth dates meaning that it finishes one circle round Proxima Centauri in that time. Besides, matters aren't so honest as we would naturally suspect. The way that the planet is Earth-like in size and circles a red star doesn't ensure that it is a specific imitation of our truth and that we will all move there. The livability of Proxima b is not set in stone by various elements. One of them is a planet's climate, which acts as a shielding safeguard and plays a crucial role in controlling temperature. What's more, Lifestyles usual besides the specific synthesis of Proxima b's climate is at this point doubtful, making it tough to determine its most actually tenability. Researchers are chipping away at methods to focus on the air of well-known b, and a vital tool in this system is the James Wood Space Telescope. This telescope will permit researchers to dissect the mild that goes via the exoplanets weather during travels to be able to supply them information about phantom features and help them with seeking out plausible biomarker atoms that could demonstrate the presence of life. Another significant variable influencing livability is the presence of water. Despite the truth that Proel B is in the livable region, it's far considerable to determine if it has a okay degree of water to be considered reasonable for existence. Water is a fundamental piece of the riddle, and researchers are attempting to find symptoms of fluid water inside the world's surface, whether as seas, lakes, or streams. These pieces of records will be vital to evaluating the risk of tenability on General B. The presence of water in exclusive states like ice or fume, it is moreover taken into consideration since water accessibility is fundamental to guide biological cycles and is considered a crucial mark of tenability. Of Proxima B brings up problem approximately its surroundings. Researchers should likewise explore factors as an instance temperature stress and land movement on Proxima B, to compare whether the planet is inner or appropriate reach for existence to flourish. Outrageous situations like a scorching depth or outrageous cold can make persistence tough. Soundability is likewise essential. Volcanic emissions or seismic movement can disenchant tenability. But soundness is a first rate. Proxima B is standard to be in a flowing locked state, sincerely intending that one side of the planet stays forever in haziness while the other side is all the time enlightened by means of the star. The megastar comparison between enlightened dim sight may want to create temperature sorts and elements that might have an impact on the planet's tenability. These are only some attitude that researchers are questioning approximately within the search for tenable planets. Researchers are researching the synthetic piece of Proxima Fe to take a look at the presence of natural combos, for example, amino-corrosive and exclusive particles fundamental for existence. 
They may be likewise studying whether the planet gets enough strength from the superstar or different resources to gas herbal cycles and allow existence paperwork to expand, replicate, and flourish. Besides, irrespective of this multitude of research, the inquiry emerges with admire to whether Proxima being truth has each one of the essential additives to be regarded as a tenable planet. Is there big proof for this? Well, the disclosure of Proxima being in 2016 become a striking accomplishment. Cosmologists supplied the excessive accuracy tool referred to as the High Precision Radio Pace Planet Searcher or HARPS for a brief to distinguish the inconspicuous gravitational TE of an exoplanet around Proximus T, our closest adjacent star. This excessive accuracy spectrograph is planned explicitly to understand exoplanets and works on the Law Observatory in Chile. It has been significant within the revelation of various exoplanets, together with Proxima b. The HARPS device works making use of the radium speed method, otherwise called the blur spectroscopy approach. Its functionality is to recognize exoplanets by estimating the unpretentious changes in the big star's range delivered about by way of the gravitational post of an orbiting planet. These moves, known as radio velocity or door impact, occur because of the slight wobble of the famous person as it's hauled via the gravitational conversation with its buddy planet. HARPS has an optical fiber that gathers the lights from the objective megastar and guides it to the inner spectrograph. Inside the spectrograph, the mild is scattered into its numerous frequencies, permitting space professionals to pay attention on the star's range exhaustively. Along these lines, researchers can decide the celebrity's radio pace with unusual precision to accomplish the improved degree of accuracy predicted for exoplanet Dayton. HARPS utilizes advances and techniques that incorporate a temperature-controlled weather. This accepted settling the instrument, what is more, limiting the impacts of MEL varieties that might obstruct specific estimations. What is your take approximately Proxima B? Do you assume it is livable, and that in a while we could have the option to transport to this extraordinary exoplanet? Let us know in the feedback container. Lots thanks for watching the video. Make certain to love and purchase in and I'll see you within the NASA's Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, is sending usable information to Earth again. In the universe, we have no idea what it is, but we can measure it. Voyager 1, the iconic space probe launched by NASA over four and a half decades ago, has just sent back a signal that has sent shock waves through the scientific community. After traveling nearly 14 billion miles from Earth, Voyager 1 has made a discovery so profound that it has altered the course of its mission, turning back towards our planet. But what exactly could this discovery be? Could it be evidence of extraterrestrial life, a cosmic anomaly, or something even more unimaginable? In this gripping exploration, we'll unveil these shocking revelations as Voyager 1 just made a terrifying discovery that made it suddenly turn back towards Earth. History tells us that the Voyager twin probes, if certain celestial events hadn't coincided, two of the most remarkable spacecraft ever launched might never have left Earth. In this case, the aligning stars were the four largest planets in our solar system. About 60 years ago, these planets were slowly aligning in a way that had last occurred during Thomas Jefferson's presidency in the early 19th century. This rare planetary alignment went largely unnoticed at first. The first person to recognize its significance was Gary Flandreau a doctoral student in aeronautics at the California Institute of Technology back in 1965. When space exploration was just beginning, working part-time at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, Flandreau was tasked with figuring out the most efficient way to send a space probe to Jupiter or even farther out to Saturn, Uranus, or Neptune. Using a simple pencil, he meticulously plotted the orbital paths of these giant planets and made a fascinating discovery. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, all four planets would align in a way that they could be visited in a single mission. This alignment meant that a spacecraft could use the gravitational pull of each planet to slingshot itself to the next, significantly reducing travel time. Flandreau calculated that this alignment would cut the flight time from Earth to Neptune from 30 years to just 12 years. However, there was a catch. This planetary alignment only occurred once every 176 years. To take advantage of this rare opportunity, a spacecraft would need to be launched by the mid-1970s. NASA seized this once-in-a-lifetime chance and built two spacecraft to make the journey, the spacecraft Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. 
they were sent on an incredible mission to explore the outer planets of our solar system. Thanks to the alignment of the planets and the visionary calculations of Gary Flandro, the launch of the Voyager twin probes on September 5, 1977, marked something truly incredible. At a place called Cape Canaveral in Florida, Voyager 1 embarked on its epic journey into space, lifted off by a mighty rocket known as Titan 3E or Centaur. Just 15 days after Voyager 2 was launched on August 20, 1977, Voyager 1 joined the cosmic adventure, beginning its voyage into the vast universe by following a shorter trajectory. Their primary mission was to explore the massive gas giants in our solar system, such as Jupiter and Saturn, along with their numerous moons. However, these intrepid space travelers surpassed all expectations. They ventured far beyond, pushing the boundaries of exploration, traveling farther and longer than any other spacecraft in history. They broke numerous records on their awe-inspiring odyssey. They have journeyed beyond anything created by humans before, even venturing into a region known as interstellar space, a completely uncharted territory within our galaxy. These trailblazing spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, are now more than 12 billion miles away from us. Despite their immense distance, they continue to astonish scientists with the remarkable discoveries they make out there. And most recently, they have made a discovery so unexpected that it has taken everyone by surprise. The Voyager twin probes have achieved some truly remarkable feats. Over 40 years ago, they scrutinized the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, astonishing scientists. Initially believed to be dull and pockmarked like our moon, these moons turned out to be vibrant worlds. Voyager 1 reached Jupiter in March 1979, just 546 days after its launch. Voyager 2, following a slightly different path, arrived in July of the same year. Both spacecraft were equipped with VidCon cameras that used filters to capture full-color images. Interestingly, they were designed to be very stable, spinning through space at a rate more than 15 times slower than the hour hand of a clock. This ensured that the images they captured were clear and sharp. During their mission, the Voyagers took more than 33,000 photographs of Jupiter and its moons, each revealing new and fascinating details. For instance, Europa, one of Jupiter's 53 named moons, was found to have a cracked icy crust estimated to be more than 60 meters thick. As the spacecraft departed from the Jupiter system, they received a farewell boost in speed of 35,700 miles per hour from a gravitational slingshot, a crucial maneuver that helped propel them towards interstellar space. At Saturn, the Voyagers went their separate ways. Voyager 1 passed through Saturn's majestic rings, enduring thousands of impacts from tiny dust particles before flying past Titan, a moon enveloped in an orange haze and heading northward out of the plane of planets. Voyager 2 continued its solitary journey, reaching Uranus and Neptune in 1986. During its visit to Uranus, Voyager 2 discovered 10 new moons and added the planet to the list of worlds in our solar system with rings. However, Voyager 2's achievements were overshadowed by tragedy when just four days after its closest approach to Uranus, the Space Shuttle Challenger tragically exploded shortly after liftoff, claiming the lives of all seven crew members, including Krista McAuliffe, a high school teacher from New Hampshire who was set to become the first civilian to travel into space. Three years later, as Voyager 2 flew about 2,800 miles above Neptune's stunning azure methane sky, it encountered the swiftest winds recorded on any planet in our solar system, reaching speeds of up to 1,000 miles per hour. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, turned out to be a bizarre world with geysers spewing nitrogen into space. Voyager 2 captured the stunning scene in a series of close-up photographs. Following its visit to Neptune, Voyager 2 joined its sister probe, Voyager 1, on an epic journey into interstellar space. As they ventured deeper into the unknown, the Voyagers encountered a mysterious boundary known as the Heliopause, where the influence of the sun gives way to the vast expanse of interstellar space. Voyager 1 crossed this boundary on August 25, 2012, becoming the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 followed in its footsteps, crossing the heliopause on November 5, 2018. As they continue their journey into the unknown, the Voyager spacecraft carry with them a golden record containing sounds and images that portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth. 
This cosmic time capsule, created by a team led by astronomer Carl Sagan, is intended to serve as a message to any extraterrestrial beings who might one day encounter the spacecraft.